There's two ways of installing mods for R Factor 2, an easy and a difficult one. I'll show you both right now. Greetings Petrolheads and welcome to a new episode in our channel. To somebody like me who is always testing new mods and of course making videos about new mods, it's nothing special to install a mod to put it in the right place. Therefore it's easy to forget that there are other people that struggle doing such thing because they don't know how to do it. It's quite easy but of course as with many easy things you need somebody to show you how it's done and then you can do it for yourself completely without any issues. So I offer to you the two ways that there are for installing mods on R Factor 2. For most of the mods in R Factor 2, installing them is quite easy. On the R Factor 2 page on Steam, you go to Browse the Workshop, click there, go to the mods that you would like to install and click on Subscribe. Once you have done that, Steam will start downloading the mod and will put it in the proper place on R Factor 2. But what if you downloaded a mod that was not in the workshop? Most of the mods that you're gonna find in our database are gonna be either RAR files, ZIP files or 7Z files. Those are all methods of compressing files, making them smaller and most especially being able to put files and folders all together in one file that then can be downloaded as one. For all these kind of files, I recommend that you use 7-zip, which is free software that you can download almost anywhere. 7-zip is able to decompress zip, rar and 7z files. 7z standing for 7zip. Go figure. The right location for R Factor 2 is program files x86, steam, steam app, common, R Factor 2 packages. Drop there any mod that you have, be it a vehicle or a track. Mods for R Factor 2 all come in the format of RFCMP files. And as we did with the Assetto Corsa mods, we extract them in the right folder. A nice thing about 7-Zip is it remembers where you extracted files the last couple of times. So you don't have to go through that menu every time. You can go and choose the right folder from the last ones you used in the past. Once you start R Factor 2, and as it is normal for R Factor 2, it will go through the folders and see if the mods are up to date and if there are any new mods. And after that, you'll find the mod in your sim. See? It's that easy. Now you know how to do it and if you need a pointer because you forgot, you can always come back to this video. That would be all for today. If you found this video helpful, please be so kind and applaud by leaving a like. If you want to see more of us, subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. And until next time, save fuel, take pickup and we'll see each other on the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.